Hello guys, the Abyss of Halo here. Uh, as some of you know, about a month ago, uh, Borderlands uh, got the GameSpy Network for the original Borderlands went offline, and I know there are a whole bunch of people trying to figure out how to get a uh, multiplayer uh, game up and running without GameSpy up. Well, first off, you're gonna need Hamachi, which uh, I will leave the description, the link in the description down below. So basically, you wanna make any game by just going up here to network, create, or if you wanna join someone, you could join a, an existing network, and uh, after you're in the network, got it all set up. Um, if you're the one joining, you wanna go to your files, go to your local disk, program files, steam, steam apps, and common. You're gonna look for borderlands, uh, go to binaries, and you're gonna wanna pick this file right here, you're gonna wanna right click, and create a shortcut, and move that to the desktop. Now this is for if you're using Windows 7 or 8, if you're using something else, there are other things you can do, but I don't know what they are. Um, so anyway, after you do that, what you want to do is, uh, you want to go to Properties, and it will start up in the Shortcuts tab. Now what you want to do is, you take the host's uh, thing for, uh, from Hamachi, you just right click on them and click copy IPv4. Let me use him as an example. You find it right here. Copy IPv4. And what you want to do is space and then uh, copy paste it like so. And it works perfectly fine. Mind the space there. If you don't have the space, it will not work. Um, but it works. But you have to do a land game, obviously since that's our only option at the current moment and watch I'm gonna wind up posting this video and they're gonna patch it uh, like the day after but either way if you just want a private land game uh, this is how you'd want to do it uh, like if you're long distance you don't know how to port forward which you wouldn't need to do with Steam Gaming Maybe you just don't trust Steam Gaming. Maybe you don't know how to make a private lobby. I don't know. But you could do this. And yeah. So anyways, uh, very short video we have today. Very quick explanation. But uh, yeah. So I guess I'll see you guys next week for a new video. See ya.